Can you smile? It's a warm afternoon and Emily is cuddled up on the couch with her baby Willow. She remembers how excited she was in early 2022 when she found out she was pregnant. But she was a lot less excited about the idea of giving birth in a hospital, especially during COVID. Like there might be restrictions on how many people can come in and you might have to you probably have to wear a mask. Emily asked to be identified by only her first name for privacy. She says COVID restrictions led her to think about alternatives. She wanted to avoid the medical interventions that can come in a hospital. Then she had an unsettling prenatal appointment. That my goal was to have an unmedicated birth. She kind of chuckled a little bit and she said, you know, a lot of women come in saying that, but they end up getting an epidural. That was when Emily made up her mind. She would hire a midwife and give birth at home. Since the onset of the pandemic in early 2020, the number of home births has climbed dramatically, both nationally and in San Diego County. Countywide, the number rose by 28 percent from before COVID to the end of 2022. Midwives legally can oversee births without doctor supervision and usually bring medical tools, including oxygen tanks, suturing kits, and medication for hemorrhaging. Despite the growing popularity of home births, medical experts still say a hospital is the safest place to have a baby. Here's Dr. Alice Sutton, an OBGYN at UC San Diego. There are some complications with birth that we just can't predict in advance. Emily says she considered the possibility of complications, but felt safe because she lives only five minutes away from a hospital. Sutton says five minutes can be too long. It takes time to get in the ambulance and get transferred to the hospital. And time um, can mean more time that someone is bleeding. She says the most serious risk is the baby could die during labor or after delivery. Research shows that up to a third of women attempting home births end up going to the hospital. But the most common reason isn't a dangerous complication. It's because the mother is exhausted. Her labor has gone on too long, and she needs relief from an epidural or other pain medication. All the medical supplies, we try to hide them so they look, looks a bit more personal. Licensed midwife Heather Lamaster has seen her business boom during the pandemic. It's been instrumental for families to really stop and go, wait a minute, I have other options. There's a variety of places that I can have my baby. Lamaster charges $6,800 for a home birth and $2,000 more if a woman wants to come to her birth center. Insurance usually doesn't cover the cost. She says for home births, she involves the whole family as much as possible, including what she calls catching the baby the moment it's born. Either the partners will catch or if there's little siblings or maybe little bit teenagers, sometimes they want to catch their sibling. And so I kind of help facilitate that as well. Um, there's this an empowerment that comes from that that's words can't describe. When Emily's labor started, she alerted her midwife. She was in for a long haul, 37 hours of labor. It was very painful, way more painful than I was anticipating. She was able to push through the pain and remain at home. She created a soothing environment with scented candles, soft lighting, and Christian worship music. And by the time we had her at three in the morning, <laughs> I'd been, you know, pushing for four hours, which was intense. Um, but it was so, it was perfect. Her daughter Willow is now three months old and thriving. And Emily is grateful that from the first moments, she and Willow were able to bond at home. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.